shoulder here. So only that one descent that uh, was a bit of a worry. Smashed the uh, stabilizer leg plastic. But anyway, looks like a pretty nice spot. And I can't see anyone else here. Or at that. It remains to be seen. It's a big pool. Righty ho, while well, we're enjoying this place. Had a good swim. There's a massive rope swing over there, which I'd give a crack if there was someone else here, but <laughs> Sarah wouldn't be driving out of here on her own. So we're down surfing, aren't we, Ollie? What are we going to do? You want to lay on that and Daddy will pull you around? Yeah. Yeah? Are we going to do it? Let's do it over here where it's a bit deeper. Why? Because I prefer it's, the shallow. it's still shallow. This is still shallow as. We flew the drone around. We'll put some footage in. It's pretty amazing actually. A lot prettier from above as it often is. Magic spot. So this is only about, Hello. I don't know, 100 meters from our camp. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. What do you reckon, Dale? Magic spot with cranky kids. With cranky kids. Oh yeah, Cooper. Tell me what Dad, your problem is. Dad, Dad. What's your problem, mate? Dad. What's your problem? Dad. Yeah. Dad. I'm hungry. I want water. Dad. I want to go. <laughs> How would you be? So if I'm honest, I had my reservations when we came in here. It's a bit of a drive. Uh, and the sun was right overhead. It looked a bit average, but what a place. This is absolutely nuts. <laughs> oh man, what a killer spot. Such a cool spot. Oh, so you can climb the tree and go on a giant rope swing. I'll climb up there and take a photo. Oh man, there's about 17 million what do you call? Nice sunrise. So we've got to decide whether to hang around for another day or get moving. Tough choices. There's one uh, hill climb on the way out that I'm a bit worried about. <laughs> we'll see if we can get up that. Could be all sorts of entertainment. It looks like it's challenging enough without a camper. But anyway, good times. Coopy's in the middle. Quick, Ollie, throw to Dad, throw to Dad. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, that was a perfect throw, mate. Good job. <laughs>
So we found ourselves another random spot. This looks pretty good for the kids to play actually. Big wide section of the pool. So it's sort of uh, east of the main red cliffs. You had, you had a camp down here as well I guess. Looks like people have driven across and up that way. No idea what's over there. Anyway. Well, pretty cruisy day at camp. Had a bit of a swim. Sarah's still down there enjoying herself. Putting some charge back in the panels. And uh, I've just removed these stabilizer legs as well. So you can see this one here has the plastic broken off and it's bent a little bit. It's just two bolts on either side to get them off. So pretty easy to do, worthwhile. And I figure on the way out, they're likely to get smashed again. So it just bolts on under here. Probably buys me another, oh, I don't know, 100 mil clearance or something, which we might need. That one needs a bit of straightening anyway, so it probably had to come off. Hopefully we can get out tomorrow with no issues. Anyway, we're just chilling at camp, not doing much, enjoying ourselves. It's a pretty amazing place to be. Nobody else here, all on our own. So that kite up there is our mate. He's been hanging around our whole stay. He's just flying off now. Sometimes he flies right above us, like 10 metres away. Pretty amazing birds. So we're having some very philosophical discussions here. And we're asking Oliver whether we should get a, a caravan or we should stick with our camper trailer. So what's the... You were saying what, Ollie, that we should get a... Caravan. A caravan. How come? Why did you want a caravan over our camper? I don't know. Oh, come on. What are you it's saying? It's too big. You want, to, you want more space inside? Yeah. Yeah. And, and what, what else? The flies don't tow the toilet. The flies <laughs> don't come in the toilet. Why don't they come in the toilet? Because it's inside and also there's no way for the flies to eat. Is that right? And what else do you like about a caravan? Well... I do really like it because there's a table inside. We've got a table inside. But not as big as Emma's. Oh, okay. <laughs> not as big as Emma's caravan. But it's not made of the material we want it to be oh, made of. Oh, it's not made of the material you want it to be and made of. We should, we, should um, we should swap because it's not made of the material. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. I thought we should swap caravan. With who? Emma. With Emma? Yeah. But Ema's only got one bed. They will both sleep on the same bed. Mummy and Daddy will, and where will you and Coop sleep? No. Yeah. They'll sleep our own beds on the floor and sleep. You'll, on the floor? The no, much room. what about sleep on a chair? Sleep on the chair? Yeah, with one person. Yeah, there's enough room yeah. for one, but not for Where would we put Ollie? On the floor. On the floor. In a bed. So, I don't think we've actually mentioned this, but uh, this this three week trip is uh, what shall we say a trial run to see if we can put up living with these uh, monkeys. Delightful children. <laughs> monkeys full time uh, on the road. So yeah, in I can say this because it won't come out before I resign at work in uh, mid September. I'm going to be finishing up at work, and we are going to hop on the road full time and uh, go and travel around Australia. Coopy. So, yeah, it should be fun. My goodness. So, I mean, we're undecided at the moment. I mean, look at these kids. Could you live, could you live full time with them? 
Now we've had uh, we've had quite a few discussions actually about whether we should get a caravan or stick with the current camper trailer. <laughs> so yeah, I mean we've had this Recon R2 now for I don't know, let's say three years just about. We've probably done about 200 odd nights in it. Um, we bought it as an upgrade from the soft floor as a bit of a a compromise in multiple ways. It's kind of uh, just large enough and comfortable enough to live in full time, um, but obviously not as comfortable as a caravan. Um, but really, we can't go to a full size. Uh, it would have to be dual axle probably um, off-road van because we don't have the weight capacity available. Um, our car has a GVM upgrade but it doesn't have higher axles. Um, the axle rating still the same. So yeah, our maximum um, weight is actually not far off what we're doing right now. Um, maybe Sarah can put in the weight figures. We had it weighed before we went up on a six week trip. Um, plenty of room available on the camper trailer. Uh, we had a little bit left on the car in terms of GBM uh, and rear axle and front axle weight, but not very much. So there's no way that you're going to get an off-road caravan that sleeps four um, that is less weight or even just a little bit more weight. They're all sort of, you know, starting at 2,500 kilos plus. Um, and also that greatly restricts where we can go, which I am not too happy about. Um, so, I mean, we might be mad. There's people that do it in soft floors and tents, but uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a crack and see how it goes. We could upgrade, cost a, a pretty packet, I'm sure. Um, maybe that'll happen eventually, but for now, we're gonna be living on the road full time in our Little Recon R2 with two kids. Um, Ollie will be six, Cooper will be nearly four. We'll be homeschooling them and hopefully having a lot of fun. Sarah corrected me, it's not homeschooling, it's distance education. So yeah, Kalgoorlie School, yeah. Anyway, happy days. I'm going to put these in as bloopers as well, all right? I do the videos, I get to do it, whatever. Do it no, I think no. Come on. So we're doing a simple dinner. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it. Just do it. What do I say? <laughs> say dinner tonight is... Dinner tonight! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My wife has uh, stage fright or something. <laughs> You can hold it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're wasting my time. So, dinner tonight is uh, a really simple pass and because Sarah can't okay, speak I, words. Homemade right? meatballs with a jar of sauce and some pasta. So the meatballs are pre-cooked? Made at home. Yeah, uh, pre-cooked. Pre-cooked in the oven at home. So what are you doing? Just browning them? No, just heating them up. Heating them up. With and some then sauce. We and add the pasta. pasta. And then we eat it. Yep, that's the plan. All right, and some very high tech sauce. Yeah. All right. Bye bye, magic pool. So uh, we're at this hill climb. It's the only part that I was worried about. Um, I mean, this hill climb on its own is okay. It's just the change in angles down here. The last time we took a bit of the camper trailer out. It's not overly good traction either. 
You know, our camper's not the lightest thing in the world. But anyway, so that was where we came down. I think the other side is probably no better to come up. It's got much bigger holes. Anyway, have a think about it. See what the best way is. I don't want to go too quick because it'll bounce the camper trailer into something. See what we can come up with. So Sarah's just found a chicken track, which we didn't even know about. It looks a lot better. At least I'll be able to hit it with a bit of speed. Oh, how on earth did we miss this? I don't know. It's just a dead flat like a chicken river bed. You will get a bit of scratching, but anyway. Oh. While we try and get up that other hill. Not to you. I can't believe we didn't know about it. So, yeah, zero chance you'd get the car and camper up there. <laughs> Dreaming. This one would work, maybe, but it's quite sharp at the bottom. <laughs> That'll be our marks from... Oh, yeah, there's our, our other piece of plastic. I oh, know, that's not ours. That's someone's Anderson plug. I mean, you can that's just go. That's ours. Yeah, that's ours. That's right. And I've got the other bit in the camper. Glue it back together. <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> So, bit of fun. Nothing broken, hopefully. Doesn't sound like it. On the first attempt, I was obviously a little bit too far on this side, and it just dug into the soft stuff. It doesn't help that our uh, car tires are nearly bald. <coughs> They're probably this will be the last trip for them, I'd say, and we don't have any lockers, so might be an excuse to get a couple. Anyway, we're up. Everything seems okay. Happy days. How was that, babe? Fine. Did you enjoy it? 